All right, today we're going to be going over Game 2 of the COD Championship Grand Finals between Atlanta FaZe and LA Thieves. Uh, this was a Berlin search, and it was a really good one, so I'm glad we're going to be doing some analysis on this. And uh, we're just going to go round by round here. So starting with round 1, uh, Atlanta FaZe is on offense here. And offense is really the preferred side, actually, on this map. Uh, and ended up turning into an offensively sided map towards, like, would say, the halfway point of the year. And there was one big constant for FaZe, and that was mainly that they would like to uh, show some sort of like spread, B push, and then usually wrap towards A. Uh, they'd have Alec playing around this P4 area here, either you know back at this red tower, or back at this little box hop up, or even at this red crane here. So. That was like the main constant for their B, B push. They would usually play inside post. Cell would sometimes play like inside boxes. Uh, so we're just gonna go round by round here and start off with uh, the eight or with round one. So round one, as you can see, LA Thieves, they're gonna start off with a little two A, one fire and uh, one sniper uh, low B. And then again, as you can see, Atlanta phase, they're gonna play two inside posts Cell is gonna watch this cross towards low docks and try and see if anyone can or is pushing up B side and then gonna go towards boxes. Alec, as we said, is gonna play this P4 area. Alec's job is basically the secondary clutch player because a lot of teams, you know, they, they'll play inside what we would call bricks here to clutch for this B plant, the post plant. Um, and then sometimes teams would play this P4 area to be as the secondary fail safe in case this bricks guy dies and he could rotate over and get the bomb check for them so we'll just see what they did here and yeah so as you can see it's a little like b fake type of thing where they're not really showing b but they have more uh arrows towards b you know atlanta phase they're, they're hug hugging post here they don't see anything really b i think they they may have seen sam here low docks i cell may have seen him early probably not i, I don't think so but the thing is they, they probably don't see any stuns or nades going toward the, towards this b side because they have 2a and one fire so at this point you know no one watched the cross for atlanta phase so they don't know how many people are a but they can tell basically how many people are not on b because they don't really see anyone b and uh this is something that sam would usually snipe sometimes so here they're just hugging inside a post. Here, this is the option for, for phase. They send two guys towards P5 now. So you're, you're seeing that they're try, trying to cheat over towards that A site now. And as you can see, LA Thieves, they don't see anything here. So they're gonna start taking advantage of that space. They're gonna start pushing up. And uh, Abizi right here, he's playing top third. He gets really bad timing on this guy pushing up long stairs. So number two draws that he gets through too long even though Abizu was watching it, he gives it up for a second to watch Secret in case you know someone was jumping out of Secret trying to hit P5. And then you have Alec here who gets found out by, by Kenny. And so this is a bad situation for Alec because he, he now has two players that know his positioning. So he's gonna have to back off. He gets shots towards him, so he backs off. They get him out of that P4 area. And meanwhile, you know, Draza backs up. He goes to end up hitting Secret and BZ catches him. So, you know, he didn't get the timing at the first part, but he did get uh, the eventual timing on him hitting Secret. So at this point, you know, FaZe, they, they were slow to hit out B in, in general at the start of the round. But once they get that pick, they're going to start hitting out B. They're going to plant the bomb and they're just going to play a tight setup. So Simp plants the bomb. He's going to play inside of B. Uh, a lot of teams would option for just staying inside of the the bomb after they plant try and get a kill as long as you can buy as much time as possible for these guys back bricks here you know these guys are playing uh, the clutch so any time that you can waste is, is really good time so as you can see number two draws is gonna get the trade on, on a BZ here this is probably a mistake uh, from BZ's part you, you kind of want to be playing safe here at this point you don't really want to be dying and LA Thieves are going to send two towards the B side and they end up getting the trade on Simp. But, you know, this is such a long retake for them. They planted the mom a long time ago. They still have two guys clutch here. You know, Draza gets the kill and he's last seen P5. So they're going to be checking P5. Thing is, two guys playing clutch with not a lot of time left. Uh, you know, you have Sam going for the defuse. And at this point, you just want Draza to 
you know, try and guess where Alec is going to be in this moment and pre-fire him. The thing is, it's it's too late. He gets the kill on bomb, and Atlanta Faze wins the round. So now we'll move to round two, LA Thieves' first offense of the game. And this was a play basically designed to completely counter Cell, who was the constant for the Atlanta Faze defense. You know, he was always playing top fire the last two uh, Berlin searches that they played at the tournament. So what they were trying to do is just straight up counter that because Cell was always playing top fire, trying to you know do that wall bang that he did to us on A side. And you know Ellie Thies's plan was let's counter that. Let's try and get him out of his comfort zone by punishing him uh, for being there. So we'll play at this round, and as you can see. LA Thieves, they're doing this mid push. You know, Envoy is going to be the guy trying to get into fire. He pushes through P5, and what he has is he has Draza left side P5 watching over him for anyone that might be fire tank. Happens to be Simp playing there, and then Sam is going to be watching over uh, for this Rugs jump or anyone playing dub stairs. And this is a really nice setup out of LA Thieves. And what do you know? Draza ends up getting the pick on Simp at the fire tank. He does his job. Unfortunately, though, for Sam, he can't see number seven in this spot. And uh, he's going to get the kill, the crucial kill on number four, who is playing for Cell uh, top fire. So the thing is, Sam ends up getting the trade anyway once uh, Alec ends up backing up. Uh, but the thing is, Draza ends up dying to Cell top fire. He may have overstayed his welcome. Um, Kenny was going to end up trying to trade out number seven as well because he was top third. Thing is, at this point, it's a two to two round. They know where uh, everyone is, basically. They know the cell is at, as a top fire, and they know someone was probably B side. So at this point, they're just going to wrap it towards A and get the bomb down. At this point, for Atlanta Phase, it's a pretty hard retake once a clean A bomb is down uh, when you have even numbers and. You know, you see LA Thieves are just going to play a super tight setup here. Once they get the first kill, uh, they know where the second guy is and, and they just play for him. It's an easy round win for LA Thieves there. So now we head to round three, another defense for LA Thieves. And this time they're going to do a 2-2 split where you have, again, Draza and Kenny playing this A side. And here you have Envoy and Sam hitting up uh, the B side. As you can see for Atlanta Phase, they're motioning again towards B. Uh, it's still a possibility of a wrap again but they're gonna have Alec watching the cross at this point. Um, and what he's doing here, he's he's underneath the balcony and he's just watching this cross to see how many people crossed A. So he does his job, he sees that two cross, so they're gonna say, all right, we're gonna stick towards B and try and make a play here. You have cell boxes again, another constant. And Alec, he's going to do pretty much exactly what he did before after watching the cross, he's gonna play towards this P4 area. Again, another fail safe opportunity for him. On the other side, you know, LA Thieves are gonna be playing on a super tight setup in case, you know, LA Th or Atlanta Phase hits a back alley or uh, just tries to teamwork A in general. They, they have a pretty nice setup here. And then on the other side, the other two players are playing a pretty tight setup on B where you, you don't really see too much like at, at all where both players are right next to the bomb. You actually have one player watching for anyone that might be pushing through post or out this door or even towards this office area and, and trying to catch anyone off guard that's playing docks. And you have one person playing inside the bomb. I think it's Envoy here. And what he's going to do is he's going to play inside. If he gets a kill, great. If he doesn't, then he can back up and jump out of the back windows here. So let's see what happens. They end up motioning towards B, they cross to B, so that gives LA Thieves the info that they're going B, and the rest of the team is going to be starting to, working together, pushing to P5, trying to get as much space as possible because you know time is ticking. Once you get to cr the cross to B bomb, you don't want them to plan it and then have a, a slow retake, so they're gonna start this retake pretty quickly. And as you can see here, uh, they do have a gunfight towards the bomb, uh, but they're able to to back out and uh, actually get this guy who's watching towards the low dock. So a really nice play out of LA Thieves for you know team working this together. I think Sam ends up sliding back and Envoy gets the kill on Ibizi here. And meanwhile, Atlanta Phase still hasn't planted. So again, clock is ticking. They know bomb is here. And what you have is one playing the, the super clutch spot down by dirt here. This bomb is still not planted though. So LA Thieves are just trying to waste as much time as possible. As you can see, they, they know that Alec is now playing here because he shoots at Drazo, who's playing for basically Alec here in this situation. 
he baits out the shots, stays alive, and now you know, okay, one guy on bomb, one guy deep here, the other guy's probably playing boxes, so Draza is going to be just playing for Alec here, and he sees that he crosses back alley, he's going to, you know, tell his teammates that Alec is going to be flanking, meanwhile on the other side of the map, Envoy, or Kenny, sorry, backs up, goes top fire, ends up getting the bomb carrier uh, kill onto Simp here, because he never ended up planting the bomb, he, he escaped, and Kenny motion towards their great kill out of them they know one guy's on pinch no guy other guys probably fire so they get the kill on pinch kenny wraps back for him after getting the info from jaza from there it's a 4v1 and atlanta phase uh, lose the round here we move on to round four and here we see a gamble stack out of atlanta phase three guys towards the b side here they're playing for any b hit that la thieves might be doing they send one guy towards a just in case and on the side of LA Thieves, they have Sam watching the cross, as we said before. This is just another area that you can watch it from. And they're going to be motioning towards B. So Envoy Bomb Carrier, he was going to slide out to this tank. The thing is, Atlanta Phase, they completely countered it. They're stunning, they're nading. Um, but the thing is, you know, LA Thieves, they don't have anyone watching low docks or anything for number four here. So he can't really slide out to the bomb site uh, because they have you know multiple guys watching over him. Uh, they could also push up towards low docks here. They don't know that. And the thing is at this point, you know, it's it's a complete gamble. Now Alec knows that they're going towards B, but they, they could be playing in post. They could be trying to wrap it out because at this point, you know, no one is in this area. So they technically, as they as you see right here, they're playing inside post. But Atlanta Phase doesn't know what they're doing. They just know that there are people there. So he's going to start pushing up and he goes to trains. And at this point, you know, he's just looking for anyone that might be playing P4, like the spot that he plays. Thing is, Octane ended up going around and playing this spot, which is a really nice uh, spot to watch the entire cross of anyone that might be trying to full flank uh, towards anyone trying to play clutch. So this is a really nice spot that uh, a lot of teams would start using. You have one guy top third watching anyone that might be hitting through P5. And, uh, you know, Atlanta Phase is just going to hold their ground here at B. They don't really have to do anything because uh, they're just waiting on the initiative for LA Thieves. They have the A push through in case uh, they wrap towards it because Alec is here. So they have info that they're not coming and they have info that, you know, they, they still were B side. So we'll see how this round plays out. Alec ends up backing up because they don't really see anything here, so he's afraid that they're going to be wrapping towards him. And if they do, he's alone, so they could trade him out pretty effectively. Uh, the thing is, they end up going for this B plant at, at the end of the day. Um, you know, Kenny ends up getting a kill inside post, but number two, Draza dies here at the tank, and they never even cross two bombs. So uh, it's a really good defense out of Atlanta phase. You know, Alex sees the last, uh, last guy in post. You know, they, they know Sam is probably playing bricks or boxes. So they're just going to hold their ground. And, you know, Alex is going to back up towards A in case they wrap towards it. And they're going to stay with the, their setup at B. They see now that both of the guys cross towards B. So now uh, Seven is going to activate. He's going to start going towards the bomb. And number five is playing a little clutch spot here. Uh, to watch the cross and he ends up getting the trade on number four here it's a 2v1 at this point and they just end up winning the round simp gets another kill on bomb we move on to round five here LAT is on defense again once again they're having draws and kenny play towards this a side this time no sniper for sam he's going to be playing top fire and envoy is going to be playing playing close b trying to deny any bomb plants as you can see on the atlanta face side they're going to be motioning b once again Alec is going to be playing alone, this time outside of trains, trying to get a pick. I believe in this situation, uh, Atlanta Phase are trying to wrap, or their intention is to wrap A at the middle of the round uh, because of where Alec is playing. And once again, he is going to get team worked out of his position. This time, you know, Kenny and, and Draza are going to be pushing up once again. They see the space is open, so they're going to be pushing through and they are somehow able to sniff out Alec playing this corner here. This is a huge kill uh, because I, I believe their intention in the entire time was to end up wrapping towards A. And once again, he gets targeted out. He has to, uh, you know, watch two different angles in this specific position. As you can see, he's going back and forth trying to play a timing because they could end up, 
you know, pushing through this back alley here. They could end up pushing through trains. So he's just playing a time to try and, you know, sniff one of them out. The thing is, they're, they're playing together and it's a good teamwork out of LA Thieves. They get the first blood, huge first blood. And now at this point, they should know that they were motioning towards B in general and, and probably playing inside post, probably playing either clutch or back boxes here. So from this, they're going to hold their ground. And because once they have the pick, they're just going to make Atlanta phase, make uh, some type of initiative towards bomb. You know, Sam here sees the bomb cross towards, uh, towards the B site. And they're just going to play for it. Sam ends up getting a kill. Envoy gets another kill. Low docks on the bomb carrier. 4v1 again. And Atlanta phase just gets completely picked apart in this round. Round 6 is a really nice offense out of the LA Thieves. And this is where some mind games come in. So, you know, in the last offense, Atlanta phase completely stuffed uh, the LA Thieves at B side with that gamble stack. So now Atlanta phase is thinking, you know, they're not going to go B again. They're scared of it. So they're going to go A this time. They haven't gone A. And this is what they do. They send all four players towards the A side. One top fire, two hit out, um, you know, the middle courtyard. One plays inside of A to try and basically counter the A side. I'll show you the little setup here. They play one side inside A. Two, we're going to hit P5 and sort of hit uh, left and right side P5. You see how they're crossed here. Uh, so they're playing for that. But they send no one towards B in this situation because of what they did in the previous offense. So... Uh, LA Thieves mind games they go B again even though they got stuff there and it's it's a hard B commit and they have no opposition to even you know touch them here thing is once LA Thieves or once Atlanta Phase see nothing A they're going to start pushing towards post here as you can see number six and number five they're going to teamwork number three here at post they get the first blood however LA Thieves gets the bomb down the thing is though for uh, Atlanta Phase they're they're probably thinking that someone's playing Bricks Clutch here. However, LA Thieves is not. You know, Draza is going to be playing that same pinch spot that Sam was playing uh, a few rounds before. And Sam is actually going to be playing the sandbag spot here in case uh, anyone was pushing low docks to try and get the bomb carrier safe because there is that little small window here where they can uh, go up low docks and kill the bomb carrier. So he's watching for that. Uh, and at this point, they're playing to try and waste the clock but they have no one bricks. And to do that, you, what they're going to end up trying to do is get a timing where they play for the opposite side rather than uh, playing the regular clutch spot. So as you can see here, Atlanta Phase gets the pick inside post and they're going to be trying to work around. But they, again, they're on a clock. They don't have much time for this retake. Uh, Sim gets a huge kill or they might end up... Oh no, so it's actually number eight who gets the kill and he... Uh, ends up trading out Simp's death here from Draza. And from this point, it's a 3v2. All they have to do is clear boxes and bricks, thinking that they're just playing the clutch from there. However, Sam is gonna be playing post, and he ends up playing towards P5 and Fireside. So they're playing to waste the clock as much as possible because they're gonna be keep they're gonna keep looking for Sam on this side of the map. Thing is, uh, Envoy is still alive at B site. He's gonna be playing his life outside of the bomb. And Sam is been playing outside of uh, fire here. He ends up dying. However, the retake took so long that Envoy just needs to get the kill on Bomb and he wins the round. He does just that. And despite, you know, a 3v1, he, he ends up wasting as much time as possible and they get the kill. They win the round here. So round seven is a crazy round because just like Atlanta FaZe did in their previous defense, LA Thieves is going to do a gamble A stack, sending no one B or no one even top fire to watch the cross B. As you can see, Kenny and Draza once again going inside A, and here they're going to play Envoy uh, to rush P5 and play anyone that might be clutch stairs here, and uh, Sam is going to watch over him while he does that. So, as you can see here, Atlanta Phase on the other side, they're going to go for a direct A hit. Simp and Ibiza are going to play these glass stairs, trying to get into the bomb site. Cell is going to be playing on the long stairs, trying to watch anyone cross into bomb and who might be playing in these corners or might be challenging on the bomb site. And Alec is, again, going to be watching the cross this time from a different spot. And as you can see, he does see two cross here. However, he doesn't know anyone uh, that might be crossing through, uh, you know, low fire or through fire itself to go to P5. And so he just sees two cross. He might think that there are also two B. And he's going to go and play this, what I would call the Dave Patty spot, because Dave Patty would always play the spot. 
to watch anyone who might be flanking around uh, through the B side or who might be flanking through P5s because he can watch uh, basically in the entire flank from here unless the person pushes through boxes, which is unlikely. So as you can see, Atlanta Phase does a great job on bombs. Simp and Ibizi both get out with their lives, killing both Draza and Kenny on the bomb site. However, they're not expecting another player to be there as Envoy you know, gets the kill long stairs like he was supposed to. Um, and from this here, uh, he gets the kill on Cell. Uh, Atlanta Phase starts playing the bomb. However, you know, Alec is all the way back here. Thing is, they sent four here, so he's alone back watching this pinch. Uh, so he can't really help out his team. And uh, that causes Sam to push out through secret here, gets a kill on one of the guys protecting the bomb for the post plant. And then uh, they end up team working, or the LA Thieves end up team working number six, Abizi, last guy here. And uh, this is a really funny uh, moment of the game because, you know, they win these trade battles on bomb here. And Alec is last guy alive towards boxes here. So once they win these trades, Envoy could technically just go straight for the defuse because of how long of a trek Alec would need to take from outside boxes here to check bomb. He doesn't end up going for the defuse, but that's what Alec is thinking because, you know, he hits through post, through secret, checks the bomb, doesn't see that he's there. And Envoy is just trying to be, you know, he's trying to look for Alec in this situation. And, you know, he plays it super well. He stays composed here at long, uh, at long here, and he ends up finding Alec, who pushes through P5, gets the defuse, and gets a, a crucial round win for LA Thieves. So we move on to the final round, the final offense for LA Thieves. And uh, funny enough, the mind games have settled in. Atlanta Phase goes for another gamble stack towards the B site. You know, their gamble A last round didn't work. So they gamble towards the B site thinking maybe LATs are going to go once again. They haven't hit an A hit. And uh, the mind games settle in. LA Thieves goes for a direct A hit for the first time in the game. And Alec is left alone on bomb here. You know, at this point, Atlanta Phase, they're, they're three towards the site. But they don't see any, you know, stuns or nays being thrown. So at this point, they're probably like, oh, no, they've actually gone towards A for a full commit. And, you know, Alec, he ends up playing his life, plays on this windowsill here, and uh, just tries to stay alive for his teammates because they're going to have to take uh, a retake together. And from this, Atlanta phase, they're going to rotate through post, through top third, just in case anyone was playing top third for LA Thieves on this A hit. They don't find anything, so they're going to hit through the, to the pinch. However, Sam, after playing the cross, is going to play back dirt here. He picks up a huge kill on number six, BZ on the pinch. Uh, that's the first blood, and it's a really one, good one for LA Thieves. I believe Envoy gets naded here, uh, but Kenny does get a kill peeking out of the rugs window on number eight here. They choose not to plant the bomb, but after the first blood, uh, to play more kills because they know they're on this full retake. And from here, it's a 3v2. They don't even start planning bomb yet because they just want to get some info on where Atlanta Phase are. At this point, Atlanta Phase group up together, but Sam gets a crucial kill P5 and gets a good timing on them, uh, trying to flank through P5. At this point, you know, Alec gets the trade, but it's a 2v1. They're planning bomb, and from this, they're just going to play together. Really nice teamwork out of LA Thieves, and they get the round win. So that does it for game two, a really nice Berlin search. Uh, that LA Thieves were able to capitalize on and gain some momentum in the series. And I really liked how they play it. It felt like they really broke down Atlanta phase in every round. And yeah, that does it for game two. Thank you guys for watching. I'll be back with some more grand finals recaps.